Hello and Turkey is interested in completing the Ukrainian Antonov 225 aircraft. Following the separations from Ukraine and Russia, construction of the second aircraft came to a standstill. Turkey may be interested in reassembling unfinished aircraft, according to reports. When President Erdogan brought up the possibility of finishing the plane during a visit to Ankara by Ukrainian President Zelensky. Despite the fact that little has been heard about the idea since then, Turkish cooperation could imply a breakthrough in providing the stimulus and funding needed to finish the second rear aircraft and put it into service. About the Antonov 225 During the 1980s, the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR of the Soviet Union designed a strategic airlift cargo aircraft. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, it is the heaviest aircraft ever built, powered by six turbofan engines. The Antonov 225 was created as a larger version of the Antonov 124, designed to transport Buran-class orbiters. In 1988, the only Antonov 225 plane was completed. It was put on hold for eight years after successfully completing its Soviet military missions. After being refurbished and reintroduced, it is now in commercial service with Antonov Airlines, transporting oversized payloads. The Antonov 225 took to the air for the first time on December 21, 1988. The company intended to build two planes, but only one, the Antonov 225, was completed. The second Antonov 225 was built in part for the Soviet space program in the late 1980s. The lone operational Antonov 225 was placed in storage in 1994, following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, and the cancellation of the Buran program. The six Ivichinko Progress engines were removed and stored for use on Antonov 124s, as was the second unfinished Antonov 225 airframe. A cargo liner larger than the Antonov 124 was clearly needed in the 1990s. By 2001, the first Antonov 225 had been restored. The need for additional Antonov 225 capacity had become apparent by 2000, so in September 2006, the decision was made to complete the second Antonov 225. The second plane was supposed to be finished in 2008, but it was postponed. The aircraft had not been completed by August 2009, and work had been halted due to a lack of financial support for the program. Water for space launch vehicles, including the Buran, a late Soviet replica of the space shuttle, which was carried on the rear of the plane. The reason for this is unknown. With an incredible 88-meter wingspan, the Maria is still the world's heaviest, largest, and most powerful transport aircraft ever built. Nearly 250 world records in civilian freight transportation have been set by the legendary plane, including an unmatched record for hauling 253.8 tons of cargo. The program originally planned to create two aircraft, however due to a lack of finance and interest, the second Maria's construction was terminated in 1994. The idea was briefly revived in 2009, but was later halted due to the massive sums of fund necessary. The present difficulties in constructing the second Maria aircraft, according to the corporation, it would require roughly $300 million in fundraising, but some analysts believe it will require more than $400 million in capital. The aeroplane is currently 70% complete, with the exception of the engine, avionics, and other aerospace components, which must to be installed. Please tell us which country would be best suited to developing Antonov aircraft in the comments section below. Tell us about your experience with the enormous plane and some fascinating facts about it.
If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.